Electrical panel is a very important feature here to look for. Um, so what things we're looking for is age uh, and condition of the wiring, the type of the wiring. Uh, this is brand new wiring. The green cloth wrap stuff is probably original wiring. This house is not old enough to have knob and tube wiring, which is the 40s and earlier uh, ungrounded type. In the 50s, they did have some ungrounded wiring, um, about a decade of the transition type, which you will find sometimes, uh, and you find it with the electrical outlet tester. So. Hmm? Wire there? Uh, yeah, so that's uh, sometimes you'll see a label. Um, you'll see a label that says aluminum on the wiring, or I open up the panel, take the cover off, and look for aluminum coloring in the wiring. Um, here you have what's called electrical safety authority sticker. So that's a good sign if you see that. Uh, it means a certified electrician uh, worked on it. But it may only be that electrician installed one thing so it doesn't necessarily mean <laughs> that the whole panel has been checked but um and here you you need to have a directory and these are newer breakers uh some breakers have a date code on them these look pretty new these are rated for copper and aluminum so they can be used for both types of wiring that's the norm um, so you have what's called arc fault circuit interrupter. This is installed in newer wiring because they've done work on the house, so it's been added. It's like a ground fault only for arcing. If there's a uh, broken wire and it's sparking across the gap, uh, it will shut off, and that's how you test it. Turn it back on. You can't turn it up like that. You have to go down and then up. So there is the main breaker. So you want to know, for a single family house, you should have at least 100 amp uh, circuit breaker uh, size. And when we're on the outside, as we walked by the main electrical mast coming in, we check the size of that to make sure it is uh, a standard for a 100 amp wire coming in. Sometimes you will see on an older house that they only have a very old metal pipe that's skinny and that is uh, like a 60 amp size. If you have a 60 amp wire coming into a 100 amp breaker, you can have a fire hazard. It could overheat, which means they didn't bother to replace that part. So uh, it looked fine on the outside, and so it matches the inside. Pretty Fairly new panel. I'm not gonna open the cover, um, but that's where you would see the, the aluminum or copper wiring. Uh, and you can see also the labeling on the wiring tells you pretty much how new it is. Yes, I have so. a question about your outlet tester and the yes. wiring. So I uh, recently bought a house. All the wires were new. We tested all the, uh, with the inspector, tested all the outlet. We got ground on all the outlets. Yes. And then we found out that it was knob and tube. They cheated. It was a uh, new wire going in, and, this, and the circuit was alive. I don't okay. know how they managed to uh, ground all the outlets, but um, I don't know. If there, is there a way to find out? Like, uh, if Okay, you can cheat on wiring, and you can take ungrounded wiring, and I can't remember exactly how they do it, but you, you could cheat. Connect the wire is wrong to make it test as grounded. Mm -hmm. And that's called a false ground. And that's a very bad thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, that can happen. And if you, you'll commonly see on houses, older houses, you, you'll, okay, the basement will be grounded outlets because it was done later. The upstairs will have some uh, ungrounded outlets because the old wiring is still there. You may see some knob and tube in the basement ceiling if it's exposed. Um, sometimes you'll even see it in the attic uh, that's been left there. Uh, if it's lighting, wiring, we can't tell with this if that's not grounded. An electrician can go more in depth. They can open up the electrical outlet covers. They could take it off light fixture. Say you had 
you know, you want to do further investigation. Not many people do in terms of a conditional inspection. Uh, do they bring in an electrician? But maybe a contractor would type Lisa. of thing. Yes. Okay, sorry. Uh, so we were talking about ungrounded wiring um, and that, that it can be cheated on to make it look grounded. So that's when, you know, in an older house, you can bring in an electrician to, to look at it further for you type of thing. Uh, but in your inspections, you do take a look at the general yeah box and yeah look inside the electrical panel yeah. test all the outlets that i can reach yeah. look at the labeling of the wiring anything exposed just didn't generally look for anything in the lights the switches the um outlets without taking anything apart except the cover here right. uh yeah and that should give you enough to know if maybe electricians need it there's problems or not like you would see yeah, yeah. When, on when you look at all of those items, then you start to get a build a picture of the house. How how many things are are uh, wrong here? And maybe only a couple, no big deal. But if it's systemic and you get, you know, ten things on every floor, then you know you're going to need some more electrical work. 